So the final season of Mad Men opens with Mad Men episode 701, Time Zones, and once again, it delves into the fabric of now late 1960s America and provides us with yet another scintillating look at the people who made up some of the most successful ad agencies of our time during that time. Okay, blah, 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 blah. You're saying, first of all, get to the point about Don Draper and Roger Sterling. And also you're saying, how come he's not dressed, you know, in Mad Men fashion? Okay, hold on a second. I think that's more like it. As I was saying, this Mad Men, episode 701 time zones, really starts off with Roger Sterling in what is some type of orgy. <laughs> And it goes from there to Don Draper headed to California in a kind of filming reminiscent of The Graduate, don't you think? To see his wife and quickly realizing that she is not really into him. There's it's more than something not being there, but between she and then Pete, who's went all up Brittany East and Ellis on us, and just the whole vibe of being out there, it's not New York. And so on the flight back, he meets Navy Campbell from Scream, one of my favorite actresses, and it's great to see her back on the screen again, in first class, and you're wondering if they're going to join the Mile High Club. But it quickly brings him back to the New York he loves and to his lifestyle, but there's still something missing because at the end of the day, he's alone. Then we have Peggy, who is still struggling with being a strong businesswoman when she really wants that and the companionship of a man who understands her, and she has neither. And then, of course, there's Joan, who really, in the modern age, our age, would be running the entire dang on thing. Mad Men is something that comes along once in a while, something that you can sink your teeth into and you'd say, well, some ask, why is Mad Men so popular? And it's because during that time, the 60s, we didn't have digital media. Now, different time and eras are slammed together. And you can literally dial back anytime you want to. But in the 60s, you didn't have that option. In fact, they didn't even call the 60s the 60s until the 80s. Then was that time, and that was the focus. And there was a hierarchy of style that was generally accepted by any everybody, for better or for worse. It's different today. And today, right now, when you present it with a great lens into the past, okay, it has its edges here and there. You want to step into it for a while and feel like you're a part of it. And that's what Mad Men gives us the ability to do.